guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am in zero makeup because it is hot in Toronto. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am based out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So in the summer it is quite humid and icky. So yeah, most of the time I'm not wearing makeup unless I actually have to. Um, you know, when I go to work, if I'm going to an event, that kind of deal. But majority of the time, I'm just in sunscreen. Um, we're going to do July empties. Yes, we are in August. July empties. Um, surprisingly, I did finish a few things in July. Um, I always say this every month, but, you know, when I, once I finish that month's worth of products, I don't really know if I'm going to finish anything in the next month because, you know, starting a new product... You don't really know, how, you know, how long it'll usually take to finish something. So, um, I have some, you know, main amenities in here that I usually run through that you will see, and uh, I will give you guys my review on them. As per usual, I have my little garbage bag here to transport this when I'm done to my recycling bin, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to just jump in. Um, first off, I have my feminine products. These are the Always Radiant Flex Foam. This is the Heavy Flow, the number two. It's light, clean scent. These are actually scented so that you don't smell when you're on your period. Um, I actually like these. These are my favorite, the Radiant brand, because they do um, absorb 10 times more, I think. Um, and uh, this one is the big packages. So I, I usually get the big package because it's worth it's it's worth it for me I'm always gonna get my period so you know I know I'm gonna use them um, I did buy I did repurchase I will you know continue to repurchase this usually I get them when they're on sale I think originally they're like 12 bucks but they go down to eight eight or seven ninety nine so I kind of wait for that and then I just grab a pack but I will repurchase those and, and continue to um, baby wipes you guys have seen these in my empties if you've watched my empties long enough. I usually use these for wiping off swatches, wiping off my makeup at the end of the day. Um, if I'm not near my makeup removing wipes and I have my baby wipes on my nightstand, I will grab these and use these instead. Um, it's just very convenient. It's multi-purpose. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the Costco brand next time only because they're a more better bang for your buck. I do like the Pampers, but they are quite expensive, so I think what I'll do is I will try the Kirkland brand from Costco next time. But, you know, regardless, they are good. Um, oh, here we go. Here's makeup wipes. Sephora Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes. These are um, $10 at Sephora. They're a little bit expensive. You only get 25 towelettes, but I do like them. They're very refreshing. They take off the first layer of your makeup, but they don't take everything off. So I just use this as a first step cleanse. Um, I do go in with my cleansing oil and then face soap afterwards, but I do like these. They are refreshing and they're easy to use. They're just a little pricey, so I don't get these all the time. I usually only get them if I have to like bump up my price, like bu bump up my bill to a certain amount to get, you know, whatever points or whatever the case may be. Um, I finished a Gravol multi-symptom cold and fever. This is a staple in my, um, in my pharmacy kit. Um, I usually carry these with me just in case I tend to, you know, have maybe eaten something that didn't agree with my stomach or I get a little bit dizzy or I feel a little bit of faint. These are made with, um, ginger and willow herb and I do like this. It's more of a natural, um, side of the Gravol brand um, and these do not make you drowsy so I do like these on days if I'm at work and I'm not feeling all that great my maybe I ate something and my stomach didn't agree with it um, my stomach can be very sensitive at times so this really does help me and I did um, repurchase already um, 
I have two hand soaps in here, guys. Uh, this is the Bath & Body Works Fresh Sparkling Snow and then the Maui Mango Mai Tai. I use these in my household and in my boyfriend's household. I've got every count sink with one of these on it. So um, I do have a bag full of these as backups. I do like to get these on sale when they have their semi-annual sale. I love them. I really do enjoy the scents. I like them better than like the grocery store brand, but that's just personally my preference. Um, but some of the grocery store brands are pretty good too. I just, I just like those ones. That's just always what I've loved. Actually, aside from the body creams at Bath and Body Works, the hand soaps are like the only other thing that I usually get there because I don't really buy their candles anymore. Um, I finished a sunscreen. This is a uh, Banana Boat Sport SPF 50, um, water and sweat resistant 80 minutes. Luckily, I finished it before it expired. This expires next year, uh, January of 2020, but I finished it before then. Um, I like the misting ones because they're, they're easier to use. Uh, you know, now that it's nice weather here in Canada, we take advantage a lot of the good weather here. So um, on the days that I'm off and I'm at the beach, this is what I'm using. I just finished this container and I bought a new one because I needed a new one. Um, so love this. Have repurchased and will continue to repurchase um, in the future. They are expensive though. I think they're like, I don't know, 15 bucks. Sometimes I like to get them at Walmart because you can get two for the price of one. So check that out. Um... I have a bot I have a body wash. This is the Dove Shea Butter Warm Vanilla and Brown Sugar Scent. Love the scent. This one I found was a little bit too thick for me and it didn't lather up as much. I'm kind of surprised because usually Dove body washes are pretty lathery and they're very moisturizing. So I'm not sure if this is just one that was kind of like a an off kind of type, but I really do love the the Dove body wash brand. Um, and I will continue to repurchase. I'm going to try some other scents in the line. But Dove is one of my favorites for keeping my skin hydrated and not stripping it. I tend to shower every day, especially when I go to the gym. So, um, you know, you got to have something, you know, that you enjoy using in the shower. Um, okay, you guys, I have two deodorants here, believe it or not. I had one at I had one at my house and then I had one at my boyfriend's and I happened to finish them both at the same time. So these are the Old Spice Pure Sport High Endurance Deodorants. These are great because they don't have aluminum in them, but they're very um, refreshing. They have this, it's kind of like a manly scent, I don't know, but it's not even a manly scent. It's just like a fresh scent. There's just a little bit left, but I can't really use it anymore because it, it'll fall out. Um, it's a clear gel type formula. See, see what I mean? Um, it's a clear gel type formula and I really do enjoy um, this brand. I do have a backup and if you have not already, this one of these are included in my giveaway um, in my giveaway for summertime. So if you haven't gone to watch that video i will link it in the cards above and you guys can go check it out make sure you um, subscribe and you enter the giveaway um so yeah these are great there's no aluminum they make you smell you know fresh i don't have an issue with them um i do have a couple of backups that i'm using and i did put one of these um brand new in my giveaway because i do really enjoy them and because they're aluminum free, I figured that's a great option. Even though they're categorized as men deodorants, ladies, don't feel like you cannot try them. Because I have learned from my own mom, and she has been using men's deodorant for years, that sometimes the men's deodorant is just way better. That's just pretty much it. So, um, do love these. I have, you know, some backups I'm using, and I do have one in the way. Um, I have a body splash from Bath and Body Works. This is the cool coconut surf. There's like really nothing left in here. Maybe I could get a, a squirts out. Hold on. Just a little bit left. Just a little bit left. That's all there was. Um, this was great for traveling in my purse, but, um, I won't buy this again just because 
I find that <coughs> these little ones are not worth it. The bigger ones are more worth it. So um, if I do end up getting one of these again, it'll be uh, probably a bigger size. I do have a couple of big sizes in different scents, so I won't be buying a travel size anytime soon unless I may be going away. That's it. Um, I'm getting rid of a couple of lip products. So I have uh, ColourPop in Speed Dial. That went bad, so I have to part ways with that. And my Smashbox um, Always On Liquid Lipstick in sh Stepping Out is kind of dried up, believe it or not. I, I didn't believe that these actually dried up, but um, I was, you know, talking to some YouTubers online and I noticed that they were mentioning that these do dry up quite fast. So um, it sucks. Um, it has been a couple years old, so I have to part ways with it. Um, I am parting ways with my NARS uh, Larger Than Life Eyeliner because the maybe I don't have to oh maybe I don't have to alright I see you I don't know it's kind of been drying out it's like a, a mint green I'm, I'm gonna get back to you guys on this because I want to see if I can maybe use a little bit of it so I'm gonna hold on to this a little bit longer I thought I was going to get rid of it, but it's just so pretty. I think I might try and push through a little just to use up a little more. It is a very drying formula, and it doesn't come off. Like, I rubbed it, and it really did not come off my finger. So, um, we're going to hold on to that. Um, another body product I finished is the Delectable um, Triple Moisture Body Lotion in Coconut Cream. This is with Shea Butter, Coconut Oil, and Aloe Vera. There's no parabens, no sodium chloride, no phthalates, no sodium lysol sulfate, no GMOs, mineral oil, petroleum, gluten, or tri triclosan. Um, this is a brand, it's the Cake brand, made in Canada. Find it at Shoppers Drug Mart. This is divine, okay? It smells amazing. It's very super thick. I would say thicker than the Ultra Moisture Body Creams at Bath & Body Works. This is way thicker. This is kind of like a hybrid from a body butter to a body cream and it is so luxurious. It is like 20 bucks but it is worth it. If you need some extra hydration in the winter time, I really recommend this. Um, if you can get your hands on it, I don't know about in the States. I know it's a Canada made brand, so maybe check it out. Or if you're in Canada, stop by Shoppers. Shoppers Drug Mart is what, um, is it Shoppers or is it Rexall? Maybe it's Rexall. I lied. I think it's Rexall that carries this brand. Um, but it was great. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it while it lasted. Um, I finished a face uh, scrub. This is the Ole Henriksen Walnut Complexion Scrub 2-in-1 Cleansing Exfoliator. Um, I keep these in my boyfriend's bathroom in, on the tub and we both use it and his brother uses it as well. Um, it's just a great face scrub, especially for men when they need to shave. Like This just keeps all of the hairs, you know growing outwards instead of in going ingrown. So I really, really love this. I do have a few backups of this. I will continue to um, use this and potentially may repurchase in the future. Um, they're really expensive those. Those are like almost $30 a piece and I got them on sale for like 10 bucks a pop at Winners. So if they come back on sale, I would get it again. Um, I'm gonna use up my stash that I do have but they're really expensive so I kinda for a scrub I feel like it's a little bit too pricey for a scrub unless it was like on sale for 10 bucks you know what I mean does that make any sense um, I finished an eye serum by Drunk Elephant this is the Shaba Complex eye serum I wasn't really a fan of this very liquidy consistency um, I prefer my under eye creams to be a little more hydrating and a little bit thicker so I wouldn't buy that again um, 
I finished a foundation, you guys. This is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. This is actually my last product um, in my bag. So it's gone to the very nub of the container. I um, These stick foundations do not last long. I give it about maybe a month or two, and you're pretty much done if you use this all the time. Uh, it's supposed to be Amazonian clay. It's supposed to be, you know help with oils and all that personally for me I like this better in the winter time in the summertime it didn't really hold up all that great um, I found that my oils really came through um, this was better for me winter spring and you know once we hit summer luckily I finished this right on the cusp of summer beginning because I I wouldn't be able to tolerate this in the summertime in the dead heat it was just a little bit much and I found that if you put too much it looked really cakey so you have to be careful with that um, because it's a clay based foundation you don't want to put too much because then it'll look cakey and cracky on your skin so I would recommend that if you are going to use this a thin layer um, it was medium coverage you know I you know, I think it's great for on the go. Like if you if you're that type of person that you're on the go all the time, and you need to have something with you just to kind of touch up spots that maybe you're, you know, not so confident with. I think that's great. Um, this is a great idea, uh, but mainly for full coverage, 12 hour wear, not so great. I just found that the formulation didn't stay as long as I wish it would and I and I tried everything I tried it without powder I tried it with powder I tried you know setting it by baking it nothing worked in the heat it just did not hold up as well as I thought so I was a little bit disappointed on that end but if you're looking for something more like even fall winter or winter to spring this is not bad at all. It's actually really nice to use. It's just once you hit that humidity and the heat, it doesn't hold up as much as you would think it would. Um, that's it, you guys. That was my empties for July. We're hitting, now we're in August, and we're going to see what we can do in August. I hope, like, I can do just as good as I did this, this past month in finishing products. Um, I haven't been buying products um, pretty much at all. So my, you know, finishing up products is kind of, is kind of like, I'm not bringing anything in, so my inventory levels are going down, which is nice. Um, I think I have to do a skincare inventory update for you guys in the future, but I haven't gotten to that yet. So, um, bear with me, bear with me, um... My makeup inventory is up for June, so go check that out. Also, my summer giveaway is also up. Go check that out. Um, my summer giveaway ends August 30th. August 30th? The end of August. The last day of August, whichever that is, the 30th or the 31st. Um, so make sure you go check that out and enter if you're interested. Um, I have some really great products in that giveaway. Um, it was a smaller giveaway, but the products are absolutely, you know, great. Um, a lot of high-end stuff. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye everyone. Mwah.